Hello and welcome to my video today. I'm going to be covering the Fisker Oceans door handles and specifically I'm going to be covering some issues that people have been facing. There have been reports that this white center strip of plastic has become degraded, brittle, and starts cracking. My theory is that it's most likely due to sun or being exposed to the elements like in cold weather that is causing this problem with the plastic. My Fisker Ocean, however, has been, as you can see, in great condition, but I mostly keep my car stored in my garage at home and at work, so it's not exposed outside a whole lot. In any case, in this video, I'm going to show how to apply a paint protection film or PPF onto the door handle to give it some protection from this issue. And if it keeps the plastic from getting degraded, that is excellent. And it will also protect from everyday uses. So for example, like getting scratched with keys and other items. So let's get started. Here's a package I received today. So let me open up the package. We have a little Fisker sticker here and a little bubble wrap container with a rubberized squeegee with a felt edge. This is handy for applying the PPF. Let's open this up. And that is all that's inside here. So on this sheet, we have the paint protection film or PPF for four door handles. As you can see right here, and this is glossy. You can also get this in the matte finish. So what you need to do is apply this to the door handle. So I'll show you how that works coming up next. These are the things I'm gonna be using today for this project the included plastic squeegee with the felt edge, optional are gloves, a cloth, microfiber cloth or t-shirt for wiping down the surface, a bottle of rubbing alcohol or isopropyl alcohol for cleaning the surface, a spray bottle filled with 15% of the rubbing alcohol and 85% water, and another spray bottle filled with water and some mild soap, such as dishwashing soap. And that's all we need to get started. It is a good idea to read the instructions that come with this kit. Some of the questions on the FAQ are, can I install PPF over ceramic coating? Unfortunately, PPF will not adhere to ceramic coating. We do not recommend installing it if you already have a ceramic coat. How long should I wait to drive my ocean after installing PPF? We highly recommend waiting at least 24 hours before driving. This ensures your PPF has time to adhere fully so water and debris can't get under the surface. What temperature should I install PPF? PPF is best installed in temperatures between 65 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's too cold, it may feel stiffer. If it's too hot, it'll stretch more. How do I remove wrinkles, also called fingers, when installing? If it's a small finger, the easiest way is to push down to use some water and alcohol, the alcohol mix that I mentioned before, in a spray bottle and push it down with your squeegee. If it persists, wrap your squeegee with microfiber and squeegee it down. The microfiber will absorb the water and making it tackier. Is it okay to leave small bubbles when installing? If it's larger than a nickel, you want to lift the PPF and squeegee it down again. If it's smaller than a nickel, it should dissipate and evaporate within time. How long should I wait before cleaning my ocean after installing it? We recommend waiting at least 24 hours to 48 hours to be safe. And then I went over the items that are needed for the project. And then here are the steps that I'm going to be following. I recommend leaving the car unlocked with the handles extended for best application of the PPF. First thing I'm going to do is apply some of the isopropyl alcohol to the t-shirt. 
and then just clean the surface. Then I'll dry it off. I put a t-shirt underneath so when I spray the isopropyl alcohol and the soap mixture, it doesn't get on the car. It makes it a little bit easier to clean up. Totally optional, but I figure it's not probably a bad thing to do. Next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply the soapy water mix to my hands. So they are clean and will slide over the PPF. Then we're going to apply the soapy mixture to the PPF itself. We apply it on the outside surface and also the inside surface. So I am going to take this off. Make sure you pay attention to which side is the sticky side that gets installed on the car. And now I have a soapy water mixture on both sides of the PPF. Now I'm going to apply the PPF to the door handle itself. I'm going to place it on here and try to center it best I can. The nice thing about the soapy mixture is it allows you to slide the PPF on the surface. All right, it seems to be centered. You can adjust it and you want it so that the edges, you want to adjust it so that the edges go over the surfaces and corners evenly. You don't want anything overlapping. All right, that's looking pretty good. This is where the alcohol water mix comes in. We're gonna peel up the edge only halfway and we're gonna apply the isopropyl and we're gonna apply the isopropyl alcohol and the water mixture and do that for each side. And then we're gonna apply some more isopropyl on the surface to make it slick. And then we take the squeegee. I'm going to start in the center and push outwards. Then you can go different directions. If you find that it is slightly off, you can still adjust it. Just put a little pressure on it and you should be able to move it. In fact, I need to adjust this down a little bit. All right, so now take the squeegee, get all of the water out. Pressing up and down. You can also feel the edge with your fingers. And that looks pretty good. I don't see any bubbles in here, which should be pretty easy to 
do this because this is such a small strip. When you're doing large sections of PBF, it can be a little bit more difficult to get um, the PPF installed without bubbles. So this is now fully installed. And then I am going to also do the other three door handles. So we're gonna let this sit for at least 24 hours. So here is the last one. Most important thing is to make sure the edges are accurate. You want to have an even amount on all four sides so that nothing sticks out. This is a slightly different design than the original one that I saw on their website where they had edges that could, where they had the PPF go around the edges. So I think they modified it to make it easier to install. And I don't know if the, ed um, the edges that flipped over made much of a difference for the protection. I think the most important thing is to have the outer surface protected. And that's what this one does. So let me let this sit for 24 hours and I'll come back and show you what it looks like. All right, it is the next day. Let's check out the door handles. Here is the driver's side. Here's the left rear passenger. Right rear passenger. And the front right passenger. Let me take it outside into the sun and you can see what it looks like out there. And here we go, we are outside. I have the door handles extended so you can see them better. But overall, I think these look great. You can barely tell that there's PPF on it, maybe just the indication of the edges. but I think it looks really good. If you follow the instructions, you should have good results. I don't have any issues with any bubbling. Let me go to the other side. So overall, I think it was a fairly easy project to do yourself. The PPF itself is a little on the expensive side, about 10 bucks for each door handle. You could purchase a roll of PPF and do it yourself, but getting the edges cut would be a little bit difficult to get the sizing exactly right. So I would say that this was a successful project. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. I have the link in the video description.
And that should do it for today. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.